When gases deviate from ideal behavior, we can still calculate P, V, and T using equations, and there's a variety of them. The one I've listed here is called the Van der Waals equation. The Van der Waals equation looks a lot like the ideal gas expression. It has a P term, a V term, equals nRT. Notice that the P and V term have been slightly modified. The modification to the P term accounts for the interaction energy, the attractive forces of the particles. The modification to the V term accounts for the finite volume of the particles. So we have an A and a B parameter to account for real behavior in gases. Let's look at some of these A and B parameters. Here's helium, its A and B parameters, both very small, and as you'd expect, helium behaves like an ideal gas. It has a very low boiling point. Carbon dioxide, greater deviations from ideality. That is, its A term, very much larger than A for helium. Water, even larger A term. And we know water has all the interaction energies we've talked about. It has van der Waals dispersion interactions, it has dipole-dipole interactions, and hydrogen bonding interactions. That leads to the largest value for A. Notice the value for B is about the same for all these. The volume of the particle on the grand scale is about the same order of magnitude for all these particles. But given tables of A and B, I can calculate PVT relationships for gases that deviate from ideal gas behavior. So when the ideal gas behavior no longer applies, I can apply the Van der Waals equation and still calculate P, V, and T.